Good morning, everyone, and welcome back to the pre-market update. Friends, uh, uh, today's morning is definitely not showing good signs uh, because yesterday we saw the U.S. Uh, data coming uh, uh, not that good because it's, in, it's indicating uh, that there are uh, still worries about the U.S. economic uh, recovery. And also the Spanish bond yields have been rising, which is uh, fearing all the investors globally. So because of that reason, the Dow and NASDAQ had closed down yesterday when NASDAQ had lost almost 60 points. And even currently, we see, if you see, look at, look at the Asian markets, they are trading around 2% down, with Hang Seng around 450 points down odds. So overall, things are definitely not looking good. Uh, in terms of Indian markets, uh, we have a couple of uh, positive news uh, for uh, Reliance Industries, where the uh, law ministry has suggested that the KGD6 uh, uh, price could be could revised upwards before 2014. But at the same point of time, the law ministry uh, is likely to oppose this decision by the law ministry because it's, it's going to likely to increase the subsidy burden for the government. So although it is sentimentally positive for Reliance Industries, but overall, unless and until the uh, petroleum ministry agrees for a hike in the KGD6 price, I don't, don't think so. It's going to have a material impact for the company. On the other news, it's uh, positive news for DLF, where DLF is uh, likely to uh, get around 2,700 crores from uh, its plot in Lor Parel, which is a 17-acre plot uh, and which is likely to get sold to uh, some of the PE investors or the uh, companies like Loda and other companies which have been looking forward for this land. So yes, uh, DLF, which is uh, likely to, which is focusing its uh, uh, debt reducing uh, uh, plan, it would likely to fetch around 2,700 crore, which would reduce its debt in the books of accounts. On the other news, uh, we have uh, big results today. We have SBI, which is likely to announce the results today, where we are expecting that the company would announce a pat of around 3,493 crores. So yes, friends, that is something which we'll be watching out for in today's markets. Overall, we will have a technical view on the overall markets. Uh, I'd like to uh, introduce uh, Somil for that. Hi, Somil. I think so technically, last time also we had spoken that the markets are definitely looking, not looking good and you had a target of around 4750. Mm -hmm. So things are definitely going on the way as you were expecting it. Absolutely. Uh, things are looking really negative. Uh, we've entered a, a bearish, uh, a, a bullish channel breakout and uh, now uh, the, the breakout has already failed. Uh, I'll be expecting this uh, uh, weakness to continue till at least the lower end of the uh, uh, channel downward sloping channel which is around uh, 4300 4200 that's that, that's a very uh, 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 huge target but right now in the very short term uh, the uh, we have taken support we had taken support at the lower end of this small uh, uh, ch channel pattern on the daily charts we were expecting a small bounce till uh, 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 4970 80 points uh, but we have uh, there is a lot of weakness uh, in the markets overall the globally and uh, domestically so uh, i think think this low becomes extremely crucial and uh, I think today's uh, uh, opening would just break this low with a gap so that is again a very bearish sign for the markets we are uh, we, ha we already have a, uh, a negative signal on the momentum indicator on the daily charts on the early charts we are trading in this channel we have taken resistance at this uh, upper end of the channel and I'll be expecting today 4700 or 4770. These two are uh, extremely crucial uh, levels right now in the very short term. But overall, uh, in the short term and medium term, bias remains negative. For uh, In the short term, 4770 would be my first target. And in the medium term, 4300 would be my second target. Anything on the stock specific fact? Uh, absolutely. Uh, uh, in the defensives, uh, I think HUL still remains uh, positive and uh, I'll be expecting uh, this stock to uh, outperform the markets. Even if the market is uh, uh, trading down, you can uh, uh, go and buy uh, HUL. It has taken support at uh, 20 daily moving average. Apart from this, on the short side, uh, I think Reliance still uh, remains negative. DLF uh, remains negative. Bail remains negative. Uh, 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 I think infrastructure structure stocks like uh, IRB infra it has formed a small triangular pattern and the momentum indicator has given a sell signal on the daily chart and on the hourly chart both so I'll be looking to short that also uh, so overall uh, 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 the strategy should be to sell on rise the weaker stocks would uh, sell off more than the stronger ones uh, but the stocks like uh, in the auto pack like Maruti m, &M uh, uh, Tata Motors all of them have started 
the down move uh, which is a very negative sign for the markets I, i'll be expecting these stocks to go down at least five to six percent in next coming uh, one or two trading sessions so to sum it up uh, friends things are not looking good uh, you know as per technical levels we could target the nifty to come at around 4770 and 4700 those could be the near term targets uh, and the defensive could be taken as a bet for the, for, to trade on the positive side like Hindustan, Unilever Limited and stocks like DLF and Reliance uh, are technically looking weak. So overall the bias is negative and we will uh, catch you up in the mid-market update. Till then, thank you very much.